I'm joined by Jasim Alawadi, the Chief ICT Officer for Do. Uh, it's nice to see you again, Jasim. Uh, last time we were together at Cloud World in Las Vegas, and now we're here on your home turf. Thank you so much, and welcome to United Arab Emirates and Dubai, and hopefully you will enjoy your time here in Dubai. Yes, absolutely. So, just to start out, for our audience, can you tell us what Do is, what services it provides, including ICT? Uh, Do is a telecommunication company that was established in 2007. We are offering voice and data services for our consumer and enterprise base. In 2016, we started exploring beyond the core services. From there, the ICT department was created, which is headed by me now. And we started offering cloud services, data center co-location, IoT, advanced applications, robotics, and all the excitement that wraps uh, the technology industry is being served by us. Now, when I got to the airport here, I got this, uh, I don't know if you can see that, this uh, little SIM card, so yeah. thank you for that. You but the, 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 the traditional telecommunications business is pretty competitive. Yeah. So you started talking about some of the other things that do is providing. How do how do some of these solutions help you compete in such a, such a crowded market? Uh, before I answer your question, I would like to talk about the SIM card. Oh, okay. Uh, do I need to give it back? No, 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 no. no, okay. no. Part of our strategy and obligation toward the country to make anyone that comes to UAE happy with a remarkable sentiment that he will never forget. And this is a small gesture that is between us and GDRFA for the people who visit UAE. It's part of our culture. You need to give to people. So this is a small gift from us to all the visitors to UAE. All right, well, okay. I appreciated it. For Thank sure. you so much. <laughs> when it comes to our offerings, as you have rightfully said, ICT space and the tech space is an extremely competitive space. It's not an easy space that you can compete in. That's why we are working really hard to elevate our technology stack in order for it to be competitive. We are working really hard to get the best talents that are there in the market. It's not sure. easy nowadays to get hand on talents, yeah. especially in the tech space. It's very scarce and they are very limited. That's why our people are important and elevating our technology stack is really important. This is how we address the competition in the market. So why did you choose to partner with Oracle to advance some of these capabilities? Uh, of course, as you know, Oracle is one of the biggest in the industry. And, and for us, choosing Oracle was not something new. We work with Oracle since the inception of Do. Oracle was a vendor that provided us with a lot of solutions, with ERP solutions, with Oracle databases. And when we came to ICT and we wanted to build our cloud stack, Oracle had fit all the purposes that we're looking at. The value proposition that Oracle brought with Oracle Alloy was a key differentiator in the offering that we'd like to have in the market. And there was no one competing them in that space had a similar offering. That's why we chose signing this deal with Oracle and having Oracle Alloy. We're going to come back to that in yeah. just a second, but also I want to understand if there are some strategic benefits that you're getting by having such a large footprint, all the applications and the cloud, all with one provider like Oracle. See, uh, as you know that in the traditional way of our offerings before, we are always limited with our offerings. And our clients being in UAE, embracing the latest technology, especially the government and the public sector, they were always comparing us with hyperscalers. And they were always telling us, you guys are lacking when it comes to capabilities. But unfortunately, because they have sensitive data that cannot move to the public cloud and require a sovereign environment, we were seeking such an opportunity where we can have a technology provider that can provide us with a proper stack where we can provide our clients with what they want. That's why this choice that we have chosen with Oracle was the right choice for us. Right. So, let's talk about Alloy then. So Alloy is our cloud that you can actually provide to your own customers, yeah. and you chose to work on a deal with Oracle, and you're getting advantages from what, I, what, what you just said 
um, around data sovereignty and data residency and the ability to then, I'm guessing, based on what you said, offer other services to your customers on top of that. Yeah. Talk about what that means. In simple terms, in one answer, we can be a national hyperscaler, as simple as that. Oracle Alloy is a replica of the Oracle OCI public region. All the features and functions all, of all a regular Oracle. Ev everything is there. Yes. So by having this, we can claim that we are a national hyperscaler. And this was the ambition from day one. So we will move from being at the lowest part of the value chain of offering only traditional hardware for people to shift their workloads to the top of the value chain where we can provide managed services on top of the applications, on top of the hardware offerings that we have. All the AI advancements that are there in the market now. So this is a key differentiator for us in our journey. And do you have plans to offer specific AI services to your customers? Of course. The plan is we are going to wrap up Alloy with an AI cluster as well, which we are already in discussions with Oracle team to see how we can build the GPUs along with Alloy in order for us to provide the full stack of services to our clients. Today, as you know, clients have different requirements. Certain clients would like to have a full GPU for them. Other clients will tell you, you know what, I need it for an hour. There are other clients that will tell you, you know what, I don't need GPUs, I need an application that helps me with. Right. So our job as a service provider to provide the full sweet stack of AI capabilities. Now, when you were on stage for the opening keynote, you talked about how now you have to start acting like a hyperscaler. What does that mean? What does acting like a hyperscaler mean? Uh, it means a lot. A lot of changes have happened. From yeah. the day we signed Oracle Alloy, the mindset change with our team is different. The way we design our solutions, the way we price our solutions, the amount of features that are there in the hyperscaler cloud is way more dense than what we are offering before. So that's the major shift that we need to have. Plus, the hyperscalers thinks always in a way where you should always move your value on top of the stack. You need to provide applications. You need to provide managed services on top of the applications. You need to have the right people that serve this purpose. So those are all the changes that we are embracing today within our organization. And I would imagine you also have customers who will have needs that you can't even anticipate right, of course. right now. So of you course. have to build some agility into some of those offerings. Of course, of course. You are absolutely right. And and this is the beauty before, with the traditional way of our offering, sometimes we have requirements that we cannot fulfill because we are either running out of hardware or we are, or the software is having an issue or we don't have that feature. But imagine with having Alloy, that's not there anymore. It's like a normal uh, public cloud where you enter to a certain portal and you get your, uh, your requirements, you put your credit card and you enjoy the service. As simple as that. Yeah. Well, we're here in Dubai, as we talked about at the top. Um, what's the benefit of having an Oracle event like this right here in the UAE? Um, and what would you tell other customers about attending an event like this in your home country? Uh, who can avoid UAE today? And who can avoid Dubai? you should be in Dubai and UAE. As you know that our country is embracing the latest technologies. Our country is forefronting a lot of advancements when it comes to the AI space. Last week, maybe you heard the announcement that happened in Arena in Abu Dhabi. UAE is building a renewable energy of six gigawatt. And the purpose of this is only to serve AI and data center. The amount of spend that our government is doing in technology is huge. That's why having such event in such a place, grab all the knowledge, grab all the people, bring the right audience. So it's really important to be here. Well, we were very glad to have you here. Uh, we are getting closer and closer, working more together, and we look forward to, to more. Thank, thank you, you so much, thank you so much. And thank okay. you for hosting me. We're, we're glad to have you.